What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Rue, and you're watching another Let's Play. This is Chrono Trigger. Probably favorite game of all time, I guess. Um, if you want to count the Zelda series as far as being up there in my numero unos, uh, I would tie this game to, uh, to all of that, I guess. I don't really know. It's just a wonderful, fantastic game. So let's get started. Yes, Chrono Trigger. Super Nintendo version. Um... So, I'm going to play, uh, I haven't really been doing any test files, I've kind of been, been doing this game most of my life. Uh, I also don't play an active time battle, so if that upsets you, I'm sorry, I just find it easier and more comfortable to play RPGs and wait. Um, I'll probably do that for most uh, RPGs that I play on this channel, so, hope, hope you don't mind that. Uh, well, I take that back, maybe I'll uh, switch it up when I do, uh, you know, like a New Game Plus sort of thing, or a, uh, you know, any one of those kind of ending scenarios but anyway let's get started chapter one this is uh, the beginning of the game the millennial fair uh where we start and we meet our hero uh come on where's the name there we go chrono chrono good morning chrono i don't i don't know why i gave it that voice at all <laughs> but um yeah let's see uh over the course of this let's play uh i will uh probably probably this is just gonna be like the first story run through uh, a very fresh game, no um, no New Game Plus or anything like that. Um, I'll s probably not be able to get to absolutely everything that this game has to offer, but luckily the game does offer a replay value that's really, really wonderful. So um, going back through the game, if there's something that I've missed, I will probably touch on it in the uh, second part of the series, I guess. Uh, now, um, we've just woken up and our mom is... Yeah, you know, I was not having that sunlight, so I'm going to close that door. Uh, also, another thing I don't do is I don't really change names of the characters. I'm just going to stick with their absolute basic story names uh, as it's given in this run-through. Again, when I go through it, probably in the second Let's Play, um, maybe I'll change it up. But to keep it spoiler fresh, <laughs> spoiler free, I'll, uh, I'll totally keep it kind of... You know, as normal as I can. Now, I know this isn't going to be 100% spoiler-free, because if you notice, I'll, uh, as I always do my little sidebars, I'm going to kind of have the, the area that you're in uh, while you're in it. So, um, sometimes that pops up prior to um, learning about it in the story. It's usually not that bad, and this is like a, what, 15, 20-year-old game at this point, so you've had your time. But anyway, where we are right now is we're in the quote-unquote beginners area, the little learning zone that most Squaresoft RPGs at the time kind of had. They give you a little hub to start you off. But anyway, I go through here because you can get some cash. And you talk to that old man twice, uh, he'll hook you up. The chest has some money. And uh, yeah, we get some stuff in here. And that's really about it. Uh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill you guys with all the beginner tutorial stuff, you know. I, I, but I am right now at this point gonna explore a little bit. Um, before we get the main storyline going and, and that's something that I really really love about this game is that it kind of gives you the option here the freedom right in the beginning to uh, just kind of explore whatever you want you don't really have to begin the game per se <laughs> very nice very nice so I'm gonna bother my neighbors uh, they don't really have anything useful but hey you know um, yeah let's go ahead and we'll go to the fair for a little bit here in lean square holding the millennial fair a thousand years of uh, the kingdom I guess or something like that or they're also celebrating 400 years since the destruction of Magus the unholy or something like that but uh, yeah all the shopkeeps they're all here uh, that's why those shops were empty when I went to them a little while ago now just the shops here in Truce are, are empty uh, not in the town over but uh, also I'm gonna do a little maintenance here real quick now I don't like I don't really feel the need for the ATB meter and uh, I'm gonna play Ooh, black looks nice but I think I'm gonna go with classic blue. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do the, the black one for a new game plus. But yeah, uh, I don't need the ATB on. Uh, I like classic blue. There we go. Looks nice. Looks nice. Looks fresh. Looks like a Final Fantasy esque, SquareSoft styled, fucking perfection. <laughs> All right. So this is Melchior, the swordsmith. Let's remember him for later. Uh, man. Okay. So you can grind up to save up enough for that load sword. It's probably not worth it. It is a little bit of a, a I guess, a, just a time waster to do that in this time period. It is possible. It is totally possible. Uh, you can go to the forest and start hacking away at mushrooms and gold up. But, yeah. Oops. I just ran into a pretty girl. 
I wish this happened in real life. <laughs> Lonely Rue. But yeah, I figure I would go ahead and get Marl, Marley, however it's pronounced. I'm probably going to call it call her Marley. I think that just sounds best. I know it's probably Marl. Back in the day, I used to call her Marley. Like a very little little French twinge on it there. A little, oh, Marley. But uh, I think Marley has just kind of been engraved in my head now. I've heard that one so many times. So yeah, you're Marley. Yeah, you can walk around with me. That's dope. Totally cool with that. Oh, yeah, and see, I'm spoiling it before I'm even giving her name away. But again, 20-year-old game. So relax. But yeah, Marley is now uh, joined the party, which is cool because uh, now I don't have to... You know, I, I probably could have gone around as Chrono and done a little... A little tour and showing you guys around 1000 AD here, but uh, I'd rather have her with me because if I'm gonna go and do probably just a little bit of grinding to get started, uh, I'd like for her to be able to catch up, so or not not have to worry about catching up, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, let's do the soda guzzling contest. I'm probably sure that was beer in the Japanese version. I'm also not doing this on a turbo. Um, I know you can't hear it because I do all my commentary in post, but when I was doing this, it was not on a turbo controller. I just wanted to kind of. Show you guys, like, oh my god, I'm pushing as hard as I can, and believe me, I was, and I'm, I'm not a masher, I'm not a masher, but, yeah, I lost, so, there is that, um, oh, let's, uh, let's do the kitty, yeah, let's bring the kitty back, okay, so, if you played this game before, and if you haven't, um, it's not really a spoiler here, but, but your actions in this portion of the game, right at the beginning of the game, are important for future events, so, um, these deeds that I'm doing, like bringing this little girl back her kitty, uh, very, you know, subtle things. Talking to Marley after I accidentally walked into her, um, which I believe it probably was my fault. So there, there'll be some things, we'll get to that, we'll get to that, but just for now, if, if you follow what I'm doing, you should be per perfectly a-okay. Just, just in this part, when you're messing around with Marley and doing the little fair sideshows, just keep that in mind, but, um... Actually, uh, you know, before we continue at the Millennial Fair, let's take a little boat ride and uh, go see what the other town has to offer. Because not everyone came to the Millennial Fair, so let's find out maybe why. why. Why that's happening. I mean, who doesn't like fun? I guess. Um, sad people don't. Sorry, sad people. Anyway, what a lovely boat ride. I'm just going to enjoy this for a second. kind of like we're on a date with Marley. <laughs> All right, Chrono, way to go, bro. And uh, here we go. It takes us down to the uh, southern end of the continent here. I, I think the continent's called Xenon, the whole continent right here in this part. I don't know what the other ones are. Um, believe me, it was uh, tasking to find every single area, and some weren't really... Um, uh, what is what is the word I'm looking for? They, they weren't really descripted very good, so I kind of had to kind of play around a little bit with my own editing and uh, names of places. So hope it works. It should work. It looks good to me. Um, hope it looks good for you guys too. On the other end. Anyway, uh, yeah, like this guy, he's slamming beer. Uh, doesn't really give a crap about the fair and this monster here. We're gonna have him play something a little upbeat. Yeah, a little preview of some song goodness coming coming up later in this series. I'm gonna have a little dance with Marley here. Let's dance around. Let's mosh. Mosh pit. Nice. That's what you do on your first date. You take him on a boat ride. <laughs> you play some heavy metal. And then you mosh. Winning date. Winning date, uh, gentlemen. There you go. Use that. Pro tip. Boom. Dropping the mic. Actually, I'm not gonna drop the mic because it's on a stand and I can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna upgrade my gear <laughs> while being a total cheese. <laughs> Uh, Steel Saber, that's pretty good for right now, and I don't think it really, you really need to get much... I, th I think the other town had an Iron Sword or something, I'm just gonna skip that all entirely. Uh, don't really need it, and that town really doesn't have much else for me to... Not much, much else to offer there, so... Oh, let's take a little walk on the bridge here. The wonderful Xenon Bridge. I guess that's why, uh, this continent Xenon. So, I probably could have done that in the editing, but, eh. Whatever. Always wanted to go to a thousandth anniversary. Okay, yeah, so I... I guess it is the yeah it's the Millennial Fair yeah I guess some it's like a subplot they're also celebrating the fact that Magus was destroyed like 400 something years ago so there's that but uh all right so let's um let's take our date into the woods <laughs> this is going great so far boat ride mosh pit wooded retreat and uh, we'll find some mushrooms let's uh get into our first battle 
Here we go. Uh, see, I'm not even. I don't think I've even used that wood sword. Shit, don't even need it. Just get a nice little item upgrade. I don't think there was one for Marley. I missed it. If there was, uh, my bad. Um, but uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be like the most perfect player this game. I am pretty well versed in Chrono Trigger. Uh, beaten it numerous times. Got numerous endings. By no means have I 100%ed this game or, or claimed to be able to do so. But uh, I am pretty good, I think. And uh, I'll do some things that might, you know shock you a little bit <laughs> no just kidding no what is there to be shocked about but uh yeah, anyways uh power tab that i just picked up right there uh that will permanently increase stats so power tabs are probably gonna go straight to chrono because it offers more uh, uh attack damage uh stamina type type benefits um there's also magic tabs and speed tabs i'll probably be giving magic tabs to my wizards or main casters as I should say and then speed tabs to anyone that's probably just a little bit too slow for my liking Chrono himself is usually pretty fast so I really don't see the need to be giving him speed boosts very much oh, or or uh, Isla later on but uh, we'll get to, we'll get to that but yeah speed boosts uh, speed tabs excuse me I will just kind of give to my slower characters Robo uh, Luca uh, really Robo and Luca kind of tend to be the two slower so Marley a little bit but she's not as bad as Luca, uh, from what I've, from what I've gathered. But uh, anyway, here's this, here's this bird thing that summons beetles, and we will take them out just as easily as before. Oh, I, I guess I didn't mention it when I first got it. Maybe I just got it. Uh, but yeah, these are techniques. This is Cyclone, Chrono's first tech, and uh, eventually I'll be able to do combination techniques with my other characters. So that will uh, they kind of unlock. Uh, they don't they don't unlock by level. They have uh, what is it? AP points or Tech points, TP, something like that. Tech points, there we go. Tech points. So uh, as those uh, accumulate and you level, I think that has something to do with it. I'm not really exactly sure, but you will gain more techniques. And the more the more you have and the people that you have in your party, it will add those combination techniques. So that's pretty sweet. That deals some seriously nice damage. And I can't hit anybody in my cone here, so I'm just going to fight. <laughs> yeah, Cyclone works in like a radius. So based on where you're hitting the first enemy, it's going to radius around that enemy. Some will radius around yourself, some will uh, explode in a bubble or something like that. They explain it in that little, that first house that I went into, the uh, beginner's place, but again, you don't really, you don't really need that. It's, that's standard RPG stuff at this point in the game, so. <laughs> in the game, in the general sense of the game. <laughs> the game of life. But anyway, I'm just going to continue on through the woods here. Uh, let's go see what's down this way. Check these bushes here. I'm not sure if there was anything in all of them. But we come over here to a dead end. It looks like there's a little box there in the corner. Hidden behind that tree. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, so you can't do anything with those right now. But take mental note as to where those are. Uh, you're going to be seeing them. Uh, I think mainly you see them in the present and in uh, one of the other time periods. You don't really see them a whole lot in the other places. But keep your eyes out for them. They're, they're going to be scattered about. There's just something to come back to later. Uh, and we can't go to the castle right now. Marley's just like, no, nah, let's go. We got to get out of here. So I'm going to leave. Um, oh, I guess it's a good time to bring up the fact of, uh, ba of skipping battles. Okay, so if I've already fought the enemy, I'm probably going to skip the next battle. If it's an area that uh, is just so repetitive, I'm probably going to skip a battle. If it's a really long area and I fought the same monster over and over, I'm probably going to skip the battle. So you're not going to see a whole lot of that. Um, this area, I'm kind of just using this as the platform to tell you, hey, look, you know, I'm fighting this. It's done. It was it was, an, it was an easy. It was a level one beast. <laughs> so <laughs> let's not get too worried about it. But yeah, not a lot. I'm not going to do that a lot um, just because I don't want to break away from the from the main story and the main feeling of the game. So uh, there will be just very mild uh, battle edits. Um, you know, if it's a story... Uh, story battle where it's you know required I'm not skipping it so um, well, let's take um, Marley to home to meet mom that's the nice closer to a nice date I think make sure you introduce your lovely new girlfriend to your mother and um, did we pet my kitty I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna neglect that cat I'm telling y'all right now I'm a dog man <laughs> I'm a dog dude sorry cat lovers Oh god, that just got me a dislike, didn't it? Alright. So, I'm gonna play a couple of the games. Uh, I don't really hate cats. I'm just shitting. I'm just kidding. I'm just shitting. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. You get one point from, from ringing the bell. There you go. 
So you can kind of keep doing that over and over. It's only one point, not the best way to grind. Uh, you could do the race here, but I have always had such terrible luck with the race uh, that I'm not even gonna mess with it. So, sorry. I'm just gonna. I'm just not that. I'm just not that good at it. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I can't even. So uh, later, we'll really, go back to that in the again in the new game plus run of the game. So. Which, uh, the more and more I keep talking about them ahead, uh, the less I want to do it, because this took so long to freaking edit. Uh, just getting everything right, and switching scenes over and over, and doing the same repetitive tasks. Ah, I'm gonna do there's a whole idea of doing it again, just daunting. But, uh, uh, alright, so, before we progress the plot, um, uh, also, you might have noticed a pink bag of, of something laying on that table. Uh, just ignore that, please. Please ignore that. Nothing, nothing to see here. Anyway, but we're gonna go fight one of Luca's robotic creations. I guess it's like a battle dummy. Uh, this is Gato or Gato, something like that, however it's pronounced. Um, you can always call them Gato. Fighting the Gato. <laughs> so, I don't know. Terrible, terrible jokes on the Rooster Retro Show. You, you guys know this. You know this. All right, getting punched in the face by a dude with a glove in his stomach. Looks like a Pokeball on the front of him there, <laughs> a little bit, but uh, Gato is pre pretty easy, not that difficult. There we go. And uh, we get, what you call it, uh, fair points, or what are they calling them now? I already forgot. Silver points, or they didn't say it, but I just remembered. 15 silver points. All right. Ka-ching. Thank you, and he punched it into my pocket. <laughs> right on, Gato, Gato, whatever your name is. Uh, all right, so let us, um, well, I was fighting a little bit, and I probably should go uh, sleep it off. So I'll head back home, head back to my house, and we'll get us a quick little bit of shut-eye here. Uh, I only have one bed, Marley, so how about a snooze? All right, all right, all right. I mean, who knows really what happened up there? I mean, he could have. Actually, in one of the cutscenes, you see him sleeping on his chair, so it's very well that he probably just, you know, was a very nice gentleman about it. Way to go, Chrono. So let's continue with the game. We'll get the story. Uh, we'll move on with the plot. It's time to move on with the plot here. I think we've been exploring 1000 AD um, as about as much as I can. There's really not too much here left to offer um, at this at this time, so. We'll, uh, we'll get things moving along. Okay, now here's a little part where Marley wants some candy. Uh, as long as you touch nothing, don't move anything on your controller, just stand there quietly like a gentleman. See, this is totally a date. This is straight up a date, man. Textbook. All right, so eventually it'll just, the script will click in and, uh, yeah, she'll say thank you for waiting. You could pull her away. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably do everything the wrong way in the next Let's Play, so... <laughs> That's fine. Uh, when I say that, I mean the next the whole series. Like, this whole thing is already done. 25-parter? Uh, uh, 25-parters? Chrono Trigger. So, uh, get ready for an adventure, my friends. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, as, fun as, it was, as fun as it was for me making it, I hope it's as fun for you to uh, enjoy these. Because uh, I do it for the glory. No, I'm just kidding. I do it for my damn self. Uh, it's fun, man. It's a lot of fun. As tasking as it can be sometimes. Uh, making LPs is pretty cool. So, hopefully uh, Nintendo doesn't do any takedown garbage anymore. You know, hey, man, I'm not making any money on this. I'm doing it for free. So, you get free advertising on Rooster Retro, I guess. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my business model is great. Let me tell you. This is going to do it for me. But anyway, enough of that banter. Um, I just disappeared and appeared on the other side. Well, wow. and that was great. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Neat. Thanks, Luca. Right on. Um, where's my money? Did you take my money in that process? I lost my wallet. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to say his name. Taban? Taban? I might call him Taban. Man, names in this game are gonna really... They shouldn't be this difficult, but... Uh, it's just a thing with all uh, Squaresoft RPGs. Is, is like Some of the names, you'll just, uh, you'll just have differences of opinion, so... Let's, uh, let's all be very fair and quaint with each other and uh, not you know it's just names it's just games <laughs> I'm rambling again all right plot throw the switch yes indeed a great a great large hand indeed when she reappears 
Just ignore the creepy music altogether. Nothing, nothing wrong here. Ignore her glistening breast. <laughs> Whatever they're trying to achieve here. Oh yeah, the uh, um, pendant. Duh. <laughs> uh, everything's going haywire. This is not good. Chrono just standing there like that dude got right in that old man's face. Way to go, Taven. <laughs> Oh, this is the only time this will be uh, as uh, meticulous as it is with time traveling and such. <laughs> if you had to go through the stars and all that every single time, oh my god. That would get annoying. Um, but it looks like on the pedestal there, her pendant got left behind. Interesting to note. Tabin's just like, get out of here, insurance claim, man. You guys didn't see absolutely anything. Go, go, leave, get out. Luca, start the paperwork. <laughs> we done effed up. This is it. Uh, the warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? Yes, exactly. I know. Seriously, man. And she's so familiar. Uh, Luca has seen her before. So interesting also to note. Uh, if you're playing along with me, keep a notepad handy and write all these things as I say to note. <laughs> Don't do that, please. <laughs> But yeah, time to do the hero thing. I'm gonna do it. I am a fine lad. And I mean, if I didn't, uh, this game would be over right here. This would be like the one part Chrono Trigger. 1000 AD only run. <laughs> There's a new challenge. Get every, get as much money and gear and stuff as you can in the very first part of the game before advancing the plot. And uh, there you go. There's the challenge. The 1000 AD challenge. I, I probably didn't come up with it, but, but came up with it right here. Rooster Retro. Boom. Power to full, baby. Roger. And more. We need, we need, we need more power. Did you not see that the whole system was shorted out when, when Marley went through it? I mean, it totally wrecked it. Okay, there we go. This is worse now. Perfect. Stars. Ah! Shining. Oh, cool. Thanks, Luca. Yeah, catch up with me later. I mean, you could have come with me right now. It looked like it was an open opportunity there, but whooshing through time. Let's go. This one's quite long, actually. I don't think they're this long either. I guess they're just showing this off in the very beginning of the game. Like, look at our pretty sparkles and our time gates. And then swirly spit out. And we're somewhere else. Uh, like I said, this is one of those times where it might be just a little spoiled. I swear I am. But again, it's a game about time travel. You know, so, not that big of a spoiler. Anyway, oh god, we're under attack. We just got here. <laughs> what is this? Good thing I did a little bit of grinding there, you know? So, uh, that was that was good. Uh, I, 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 on the subject of grinding, I uh, don't find it required. Uh, I, I only did it just a little bit in the beginning just to get that nice little boost so I can kick these guys' asses in one hit. Other than that, uh, this game doesn't really require you to grind a whole lot, so. That's uh, how nice if you square soft. Thank you for that. Uh, other games had a little bit more or less. FF6 was kind of a slightly grindy, but not too bad. But overall, that's about it. So let's wrap up today's episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified for more. Thank you for watching Rooster Retro. My name is Rue, and we will see you on the next episode.